Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Today we're looking at some rice and some beans that I recently picked up from my Sam's Club. Now both of these items are great for long-term food storage, but I'm going to use these currently for short-term food storage. So with all the panic buying going on right now in reference to the uh, coronavirus, I decided to go ahead and uh, try and get some videos in for food storage both long and short-term and food prepping. Obviously remember that you require food and water to be able to survive. So as we are out there prepping or preparing for whatever the situation might be with gear and everything else, we need to remember that we also need to uh, have food and water. Now I'll be storing these in five gallon buckets and the buckets that I got were actually the food grade buckets with the food grade lids. So there's a gasket on it to help with deterring any type of uh, moisture from building up or getting in. Now the food grade buckets are a uh, several pennies more than your standard bucket, five gallon bucket you'd get at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, I will be doing a separate video on that. These buckets that I'm getting are definitely meant for a long term storage, but you can also use them for short term as well. So we have four 25 pound bags of rice, gives us 100 pounds of rice, and two 50 pound bags of beans, which gives us 100 pounds of beans. So let's go ahead and dive right into getting this stuff set up, prepped, prepared to be stored. One thing we'll be doing before we uh, actually put it into the five gallon bucket is we are gonna put this into a freezer for a minimum of 48 hours. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll be back. Alrighty, so it's been about 72 hours since we uh, placed the rice and beans um, in the freezer. We originally were only going to do for the 48 hours, but I got uh, busy, so they were in there for an extra day. So in front of us here, this is what we're going to be using to store the rice and beans. Um, first off, we'll start with the bucket here. A uh, five-gallon white bucket. Uh, the thing is, this is a food-grade bucket, though, um, specifically designed to store food for long term. This bucket is also a FDA compliant as well. And then the lid too, again this is a, not your typical lid, um, it's specifically designed to store food and as you guys can see the black thing in there, uh, the lid does have a gasket um, for moisture resistant storage so it helps uh, basically prevent any moisture from building up or getting in. Then right here we have our metalized bag here, this is 4.4 uh, mil thickness. Basically what we're going to do is this is going to go right inside the bucket here. And now we're going to go ahead and grab the rice and we'll go ahead and pour that in. Alrighty, here we have our, our 25 pound bag of rice. Right, a 25 pound bag of rice here, right out of the freezer. Just to pour it in. Oops, lost a little bit of rice there. A little bit fell out, no big deal. And a quick view of how it looks once it's inside. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, seal this up. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to toss in an oxygen absorber. Now we're going to go ahead and seal this up here. I have a two by four to help with that. The way we're going to do it is using an iron. It's basically going to iron right over this here. And 
I'm pretty much going all the way to the top with sealing it just because the bag crinkled in some areas so I just want to confirm that the I have a good nice complete tight seal and I'm just doing it on the opposite side now just again making sure it's nice and sealed properly there you go we got it completely sealed now we can go ahead and put the top on As you guys can hear, it's clicking in place, making that nice tight seal. There you go. We got our 25 pounds of rice inside. Now let's go ahead and move to the uh, pinto beans. All right, so now we have the uh, pinto beans here. This is a 50 pound bag, so we're going to go ahead and fill this bucket up. And there you go, we have the beans inside. Go ahead and take an oxygen absorber and toss that in. There right, we got our iron. Let's go ahead and get this silt up here. Now just doing the other side, just like we did with the other one. We're gonna go and get the top on. All right, and then we have that silt up now. That one's ready to go. All righty, so we got our 100 pounds of rice in four buckets and our 100 pounds of pinto beans in the four other buckets. Now again, if I fail to mention, these are five gallon buckets, but they are the food grade ones, so these buckets do cost um, a few pennies more than uh, your standard just uh, go to Home Depot or Lowe's five gallon buckets. But the advantage of these is that they do prolong and protect your food storage a lot better. Also, another thing I may have forgotten to mention is that I do use oxygen absorbers in each one of the uh, bags that I place either the rice or pinto beans in to help absorb any remaining oxygen left in. These ones right here I got from Amazon and they are 2000 cc per, per uh, pack. I also have a label that gives a description of what's inside the uh, bucket with each of the lids. Thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and look forward to more food prepping and food storage, both long term and short term, coming soon.